a lot of people out there who are practitioners of jujitsu struggle to find the consistency and struggle to find their groove and how they can train mm-hmm. every single day without being just completely broken the next day. Um, and obviously, you, you, there's there's like you said, there's a balance. You have to figure out, okay, today I'm not going to do like full pohada. Maybe today, maybe yesterday mm-hmm. I did full pohada. So today I'm just going to train a little more like if, focusing on putting myself in bad positions or I'm going to mm-hmm. kind of just have a chill day. What are your thoughts mm-hmm. on that? Like, like how do you do, do you do you consciously map that out throughout your week or is that just something at this point that you naturally tend to do um i think uh i think at this point it's a little more natural like i feel my body um sometimes depending on what's going on if i if i'm if i'm getting ready to compete or if some of the students are getting ready to compete um maybe i'll push myself a little bit more but I usually, uh, I'm on the mat every day, all day, just teaching anyways. So sometimes like the class has like pretty average basic training. And then I'll be like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to train. I'm just going to like walk around and coach and put a lot of energy, you know, on them so they can get good training. And then sometimes it's like a bunch of really good training. And so I'll be during, during the training, I'm, just turn on the timer and then we're on, you know, but, um, trying to gauge it. I think that like the thing is to, to actually like build and get good at jujitsu. Sometimes you have to sometimes train twice in the same day. And I think that a lot of people get the opportunity to, but they won't just cause they're like sore, tired. And then they, they, they'll be like, Oh, I'll go tomorrow. And then they wake up tomorrow and they're like more sore Right. than they were the the day before. So then they don't go tomorrow and then they go the next day, which is cool. Gia seen Gia know, you know, you say in Brazil one day on, one day off. Yeah. That's cool. But, and that's, that's great. Like a one day on, one day off schedule for the average person. But if you have the chance to go twice in the same day, I think that like, that's, if you go twice in the same day is the equivalent of going like all week, you know, like you'll learn whatever the fuck the guy was teaching that day because you went twice. And if he taught the same thing at noon as he did at night, you kind of are like at that point helping the other people a little bit because you saw it, you know, and everything starts to click because it's really hard for people, for, for things to stick, you know, especially if you go to a school that there's a multiple instructors, um, everybody's teaching a different class every day and you go to one class and, um, the guy teaches arm bars and you go to the next class and the guy teaches back escapes and you go to the, you know, so it's hard to, it's hard to build up on that. But as far as like burning yourself out, um, I think that, that taking breaks is really necessary in jujitsu and finding like hobbies that aren't jujitsu, but are active. Like I ride my bike a lot. I surf a lot. So anytime that I get to take a break from jujitsu, I'm pretty stoked. Like if I hurt my elbow a little bit and I'm like, Oh, next week I'm only going to train two hard sessions because I hurt my elbow and it can't handle five. So I'm going to train Tuesday, Thursday, noon only. And then I'll have like a lot more free time to surf and stuff like that. So I get pretty pumped. I don't get all like depressed and like start freaking out because I can't train jujitsu and it's the only thing I do, you know? That's excellent. That's outstanding. I think that really is an important thing too. And it's kind of funny, like when people get into jujitsu, it's, it's one of those activities where you can get real addicted real quick, especially, yeah, especially early for on sure. like for white belts and blue belts, especially they're like, they're just like, man, they're so hooked. And sometimes everything else in your life in the peripheral vision can sort of just get real blurry and like everything you do is about jujitsu. And when you end up in a situation, like you said, where you're hurt or you, or you, you know, burned out, then you're just kind of sitting at home like, well, shit, man, like, man, I guess I'll play Xbox or something. Like, I don't really know <laughs> even yeah. like what to do with myself now, you know? So yeah. I, I like that you pointed that out, that it's good to have some 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 secondary uh, and third uh, hobbies and activities and passions, you know? Yeah, for sure. Have to. Yeah. Well, the other thing that I like that you said there too is the idea of, of have, have the importance of having days that you either take off to recover or days that you maybe go a second time even in the same day, but the, but the mm-hmm. focus is going to be a little different. Maybe you're not going, mm-hmm. you know, all out like you did earlier in the day. Maybe mm-hmm. like what do you, what do you typically exactly like what do you typically suggest like what are some like let's say that you did a hard training session in the morning you decide you're going to go back in the afternoon what might the focus be in the afternoon would it be the bad putting yourself in bad positions do you have other like kind of um, games you play or yeah so usually 
Man, so sometimes, like, it'll vary, you know? Sometimes, like, let's say you have a you have a uh, tournament coming up, and, like, your tournament's, like, a month out. So maybe you're just practicing, like, because, like, sometimes a lot of the black belt tournaments, they're two days, you know? You fight one or two, three fights on Saturday, and then two or three fights on Sunday. So maybe you're practicing, like, just training burnt out. So you go hard at the noon class and then you go hard at the night class too, you know, and then maybe take the next day off or maybe one more hard session the next day to like really get broken and beat up that one day and then see if you can handle three, four, five hard rounds the next day, you know? Um, and sometimes you're just trying to like maybe improve on a technique, you know, like I'll, I'll, spend a lot of time focusing on one technique and or one realm and like maybe you'll go to a comp class at, at noon or a tougher class at, at during the daytime and then like a more hobbyist style class at night where you could train with people that are a little more flowy and maybe you're a little bit better than them so you could kind of cruise a little bit more um but i think that it's just good to train to be, to have, like, take the chance to train twice in the same day, just cause you'll feel the improvement, you know, you'll feel like a lot of people, I, this happens to me a lot. Like if I do a yoga class and the chick's like, Oh, step your right leg back. I'll step my left leg back and I'll stop and think about it and be like, Oh, right leg about. And when I'm teaching jujitsu classes and I tell people like grab the collar with your right hand and they grab with their left hand, I get pissed, you know, <laughs> right. like, dude, I just said right hand <laughs> and I can't understand why they can't get it. Yeah, right. But that's me in a yoga class, not even in a jujitsu class where the guy is like trying to fight me in a yoga class where I'm trying to stretch and breathe. Right. I'm, I'm doing, I'm stepping the wrong leg. So like being able to train twice in the same day, will just make that stuff like click. You won't even have to think about it, you know?